thank you all for being here. So, have you all ever asked yourself this question, why do plants grow better in certain soils than others? Like, why do we see some plants growing healthy, and then at times we, we don't see them growing that healthy? Well, at the end of this session today, what you all will be able to take from this is that you will be able to test the pH of soil. So, basically, what is pH? Now, I gave you all a little treat. I want you all to write down what you all think pH is, basically. So, when you see this plant, what do you think will make this plant grow healthy? What is pH in terms Plus of virus. making it grow healthy? pH, right? We're looking at pH. I don't know. I, I say it what I think. I have to play with the dog during the day. Yeah, you just write it anyway on the letter tree. Alright, so what do you think is pH? So what are some of the answers you all had? One from this side, what? The level of acidity, acidity or alkalinity as well. Okay, yeah. what did you all have? Same thing. Yeah, yeah. Acidity or alkalinity. Okay, anyone had anything else? Yes, I have phosphorus. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> what do you have? Um, what are pH plus ions? No problem. Any other? Any other? Anything, um, anything else? So if you all had a time measured on a scale of 1 to 14, measure using a pH meter, scale or stripper, it could be anything that is acidic or alkaline, mm -hmm. and also it could tell whether something is sweet or sour, then you are all right. So everything you all said so far, it was good, right? <laughs> now, <laughs> want you all to this Smart learning for all. <laughs> Topic, pH value. Oh. Why is pH value important to a farmer? Don't know the answer? Mm. No worries. We shall find a solution. <laughs> value of a substance is below 7, it is termed as acidic, and when it is above 7, it is termed as basic. The pH value of ideal soil is usually close to neutral. It ranges from about 6.5 to 7.5. If we don't maintain this pH, growth of most of the plants is adversely affected. Great. So basically from that video, in a nutshell, it's telling you that pH is very important for the growth of a plant. Now in order to understand pH, there are different techniques that we use to measure pH in our soil because it is very important for farmers and also to determine the terrain in our land. So you all also got some little vials here. Mm -hmm. And inside these vials, now we have little different types of soils inside them. Some is gravel, some these soils were taken from different areas. Now you all also have a pH, you all have some pH strips. I would like you all to open the vial, take the pH strips and test the water 
So basically, you wouldn't test the soil. The soil has the has um, water inside it, and this water will have nutrients. And these nutrients or chemicals that make up this content, that is what determine what the plant will take up in its root, and it will determine the outcome of how that plant particularly grows. So I want you to insert it into. This is the so ideal condition for the pH. So you could go ahead and buy little strips, or you could use a more something more digital, which are called pH meters. And whatever little home garden you are doing, you all could just test the pH of the soil to see, okay, why was soil looking? Why is it looking so yellow? Or why is it looking? And based on whether it is, it is like yellow or whatever, then you could see whether it is either very acidic. Also, if you see that the plant it is is burning, then you could see, oh yeah, well then it's probably highly alkaline, highly um, acidic or alkaline, right? And that will help you to go now to the agro stores now and tell them, okay, here what. I think my soil is too pH, too high in acidity or too high in alkalinity, right? So now you know what is pH, you are ready to test the pH of our soil. Thank you. Okay.